Question 22. Which of the following methods will enable a glass of chocolate drink to be cooled within the shortest time possible? Let's begin by drawing a glass of hot chocolate drink. If you want that drink to cool down, should that hot drink be gaining heat or losing heat to the cooler surrounding air? That warmer drink should be losing heat to the cooler surrounding air. Let's write that down. Warmer drink loses heat to cooler air. Let's take a look at the four possible methods. First one, covering the glass with a metal lid. Do not let the material of the lid distract you from the action of covering the glass. What happens if you were to cover the glass with a lid made of any material? You're going to trap air under the lid. And is air a good or poor conductor of heat? Air is actually a poor conductor of heat. I'm going to use the symbol COH for conductor of heat. So is that trapped air going to cause the drink to lose heat faster or slower to the cooler air? That warmer drink is going to lose heat to the cooler air much slower. So is this method going to work in cooling the drink quickly? This method is definitely not going to work in cooling the drink quickly. Now, what about the second method? Replacing the glass with a metal cup. In this case, the material of the cup matters. Is metal a better or poorer conductor of heat compared to glass? Metal is a better conductor of heat than glass. So, is that warmer drink going to lose heat faster or slower to the cooler air? The warmer drink is going to lose heat much faster. I'm going to write that down. So, is this method going to work in cooling the drink quickly? Definitely. The third method, wrapping a dry towel around the glass. What happens when you wrap a dry towel around the glass? You actually trap a layer of air around the glass. I'm going to use this blue highlighter to represent that layer of air trapped around the glass. And as we discussed just now, is air a good or poor conductor of heat? Air is a poor conductor of heat. And is that warm drink going to lose heat faster or slower? That warm drink is going to lose heat slower due to that trapped air around the glass. So is this method going to work in cooling the drink quickly? This method will not work in cooling the drink quickly. Let's take a look at the last method. Stirring the chocolate drink with a wooden spoon. Again, do not let the material of the spoon distract you from the action of stirring the chocolate drink. What happens when you stir the chocolate drink? You actually increase the exposed surface area of the liquid in contact with the cooler surrounding air. Let me write that down. I'm going to use ESA to represent exposed surface area. And this exposed surface area increases. Let me draw this for you. Have you noticed that when you stir a drink, the surface of the liquid is no longer flat, but instead curved inwards like this, especially when you stir quickly? Let's compare the exposed surface area of this drink with stirring and without stirring. You can see that the exposed surface area is larger and will this help to cool the drink faster or slower? This allows that warmer drink to lose heat much faster to the cooler air and cooling the drink much faster. Stirring also actually allows the hot liquid from the bottom of the cup to rise up to the surface quickly. So, will this allow the hot drink to lose heat faster or slower? This helps the hot drink to lose heat faster. So, will this method work? Stirring the drink definitely helps to cool the drink faster. Hence, we have our answer as option number four. Only methods B and D working to cool the drink down quickly.